Hey, John Martinez here. Uh, I train the sales teams of some of the top real estate investors in the country. And one of the questions I always get has to do with, um, well, how do I know I even have the right salesperson? Or if I'm hiring, what kind of stuff do I look for? And there's a lot of different stuff, and I've, I've done a lot of different videos on, on some of the stuff to look for and what questions to ask to uncover whether that salesperson has it or not. Um, but one of the other questions you want to ask has to do with, um, or really a series of questions about different selling competencies, because there's a handful of selling competencies or, or skill sets is another way you can look at it that you want your salespeople to have. Um, it's really important in this industry, almost more important than, than almost any industry, uh, when buying houses at, at, at deep discounts to have a consultative selling approach. So what does consultative selling even mean? That means really selling through questions or letting your prospect self-discover what they need and, and, and being a, a really a trusted advisor. Um, and I'll give you an example of this, of, of, of where you see it in real life and um, kind of the trust that's, that's gained with that. So I want you to think about your doctor uh, or maybe an emergency room visit or if you have a sickness or illness or injury or anything like that and, and you go in to see a doctor where, where doctors are the best consultative salespeople out there. Um, and the way they do it is I just want you to think about a typical doctor visit. Uh, if you go in and you say, hey, this is wrong, what do they do? Well, they just immediately start asking probing questions. So where does it hurt? Does it hurt when you do this? How long has this been going on? Has anything else changed? Um, what about when you walk around? What about when you get up? What about when you're playing tennis? Uh, does it ever go away? When is it worse? On a scale of one to 10, how bad does it hurt? Um, how long have you noticed it? Have other people noticed, uh, you know, if you're walking, you're moving funny? And it's just a series of questions and it leads to this self-discovery and, and it helps Patients understand their problem uh, a little bit better, but it helps the doctors understand as well. And when you're going through this consultative process, really digging in, in with the intent to understand, it does a few things. Um, when your doctor does this, you, you think, okay, well, the doctor knows what he's talking about because he's asking the right questions. He's asking these questions for a reason and they're relevant. Uh, he's discovering stuff that I didn't even know that impacts me in my situation. He truly understands and is seeking to understand at a deeper level my situation and what's going on. And then I believe that at the end of all this, if he really understands what's going on because he knows the questions to ask, he's asking them and he's digging deeper. Well, if he knows what's going on better than anyone else, he's gonna be the best equipped to actually help me. Well, this is the exact same in sales. When you sell consultatively, you ask the right questions. You ask questions sometimes that people didn't expect and they go, you know, I didn't even think about that, but, and they give you the answer, you, you earn that trusted advisor role. And at the end of it, when you're done with that 30 or 45 minute conversation, one of the things that home sellers, motivated sellers are gonna think is, wow, you get the situation from a macro perspective, but from a micro perspective, you get me, what I'm going through, what's happening with me better than anyone else. And by extension, they're gonna feel like you're probably the best person to help me since you understand this the most. And again, we know this because if, if we stay with the same analogy, physicians, who are the highest paid physicians out there? They're the specialists, right? We pay top dollar for specialists. Why do we pay top dollar for specialists? Because they know my situation, my illness, my injury, my whatever it is, better than anyone else out there. And because of that, I seek them out. I travel to them. I pay more money for them. You need to be the specialist in your industry. Your acquisitions people need to be the, the specialists in that role whenever they're in front of a customer. So how do you uncover this? Uh, if you're trying to figure out, hey, who on my team really sells consultatively, or maybe you're hiring people and you want to figure out, hey, um, do they have that ability or not? Do they have that skill set, that selling competency? Just ask them a really simple question. And here's the question. Hey, let me ask you this. What are the questions you ask on every sales call no matter what? And why do you ask those? Now, if they come up with questions like, uh, well, what's your asking price? Um, how long you been thinking about selling? Um, what do you think the house is worth? Um, what's the square footage? Those aren't consultative questions. Those are just basic top level questions that aren't gonna develop any type of relationship or anything at all. It's not gonna really help you understand their, their situation on any deeper of a level than any other investor that walks into the house. But if you say, what questions do you always ask and why? And they say, well, I wanna know, you know, 
What even led you to call us? Why are you thinking about selling? Why is that important to you? How long have you been thinking about that? Um, I know, you know, it, it, it doesn't sound like it's pleasant to deal with, but how is that actually impacting you? Uh, where do you want to go? Why there? Those are consultative sales questions. And if your salespeople are asking those questions, they will hands down get more deals. So there's a couple of ways to figure this out about your salespeople. You can just ask them the exact same question I gave you during an interview. Um, but you could also use assessments. I recommend the OMG assessment um, because they're going to go deeper into that to get a deeper understanding. Um, of the answer to those questions and things like that. So it's just easier to use a, an automated assessment uh, to ask those types of questions, but you don't have to. The important thing is, is that you figure out, is this person a consultative seller or not? Because that's what you want. You want your salesperson to be like a doctor. You want them to have that deep understanding. You want them to build the bond. You want them to be a specialist. See ya.